amigos and long time no see. I was actually due to post this video before Christmas but I guess life gets into my way and here I am posting it in January. I hope you'll enjoy. So let's dive in and start with the first project which was a recycled throw pillow. As you can see, here I was trying to decide which of my old sweaters should be recycled. Initially, I had many ideas of what the shape of the pillow should be, but ultimately I stuck with this one. And here I am laying the pattern flat out so I can then cut along. And because of the fabric that I chose, I later on decided to attach a second layer to it so it has a little bit more structure. Then cutting out the outline and of course I also need the second piece so that I can sew the, um, both of them together. Also don't forget to leave a little piece open so you can turn it inside out. Then I also thought it would be really fun and realistic to attach like a mm, stem. Ultimately this is a leaf and I was trying to mm, mimic that stem. Also don't forget to cut in some notches so ultimately you'll have some nice and flat seams. Turn it inside out and also iron it if um, there is a need. And then you can start putting in the filling. This can be a slow process but luckily I didn't have to use that much filling. You'll have to close the little opening now and also for making it more realistic you can sew um, leaf veins I think they're called, I'm not sure. And here it is, the final product. I hope you enjoyed it and post photos of your project in the comments if you were inspired by it. Hey, Jingle Bells, here it is in January, a little late, but um, nevertheless, still posting it. Mm, this project took me, I think, a little more than 40 minutes. Um, super easy, super fun, <laughs> the kids loved it. And the actual inspiration for this was this old skirt that I once repurposed for some knee patches. Um, it had a really cool zipper with uh, two sides. Yeah, here are the knee patches. Um, and the zipper is um, double-ended, so you can open it from each side. And then I use this old sweater, which is really stretchy. And yeah, it was just worn out. To make the perfect circle, I pinned the zipper in the middle so I could trace a nice circle, which was not perfect in the end. Cutting the sleeves so I can have a nice um, surface to work with. Here I am cutting out the pattern. Now I knew that I want to make a 
pillow shaped more like an, a little ottoman so I had to come up with creative ways to um, basically get more out of my fabric so here I am cutting and piecing together all the remaining pieces so I can actually achieve that look then I pinned all the fabric around so I can sew it all together These two pieces will obviously go together with a zipper. Then I also decided to do a top stitch. And even more top stitches ultimately it's a kids product so it does have to be durable voila it's done and ready to be filled with lots of lots of stuffed animals as I promised super easy and fast project if you enjoyed it give it a like and subscribe to my channel would help me enormously. The last project for this video, of course, it had to be something Christmassy. Here we are, Christmas stockings. This is actually an old um, button-up shirt that I decided to repurpose for this project. I started out by cutting out my pattern, so I need four times the same shape. So to give the front piece a 3D look, I'm drawing some lines and then I'll basically sandwich these two fabrics together between um, a little filling. Then I'm pairing it with this old sweater, mm, I will attach the material on top of it. Here are all the four pieces that I need for creating two stockings. I used the serger, but in case you don't have one, you can also use the zigzag stitch. And here I am realizing that I made a huge mistake. Mm, while folding it over, you can see the seams. This should not be the case, so make sure this does not happen to you. Here I'm showing both the first one and the second one. Obviously the second one is the correct one. Now that I'm done with two of my stockings, I will do the same thing over again, just this time I will inverse the fabrics. Now that I have all my four stockings, all I need to do is embroider them with nice handwritten letters. And hey, you better watch out and be good or else Santa may not come. Subscribe!